So here's a video on most of my pots and pans and cups, starting with the top left. So this is my, I think, 14 centimetre Zebra B can. It's stainless steel. It did come with plastic clips, but I made these clips so you can sort of hold it up like that. Okay. That's the lid, or you can use it as a plate. That's like the plate, bowl, frying pan. We've got that. Tons of room in there for cooking. Easily cook for two in there. I don't often use this one because it's quite heavy and bulky. If I can park the car near where I'm camping, I might use it. So there's that one. The old separate billy can. I do like that one. I like all my separate billy cans. And then there's this one, a 12 centimetre stainless steel separate billy can. Again, I'll put the clips on just so you can hold the stand up. Took the plastic ones off. Try to do this one handed. Lid, we can use it as a plate. There's the, again, the bowl, frying pan, whatever. And in there you've got plenty of room to cook for one person. I've cooked potatoes, chicken, soup, all sorts in there. You use that as a bowl. Whether you're doing pasta, you could do pasta in there and warm your sauce up in that bit. So that's the 12 centimetre separate billy can. Another good bit of kit. I got this one second hand, it was about ten pounds and I bought this new which was about I think 15 16 pounds at the time and I think you get this for about 12 14 pounds or something new here's my plates I do normally use a plastic plate but I forgot to bring that with me but you can imagine what a plastic plate looks like but this is my titanium life venture plate it was a bit pricey when I bought it it was about 15 pounds 16 pounds but it's really good it has had a few beatings and it's been well used I most of the time I use it as a frying pan in conjunction with one of these these are like a pot grip thing you can get off eBay pretty much anywhere that's your frying pan it's really light packs away nicely I think most of the dents and that is from being jam packed in the bag and that but um, it's a really good bit of kit I don't know if it makes any difference being life venture but a titanium plate like this is ideal I really do like it and I normally use my plastic plate to eat off and this obviously as you can see the paper plates sometimes I just use one of these if I'm having a sandwich a bacon sandwich or something to stick it on there and if you've got a fire you can just chuck it on the fire gets rid of your stuff to carry here you've got the Swedish army mess kit it's aluminium this one that's the cup frying pan you see it's like an oval shape and you've got these loops on the end here because this does get hot and you can put a stick through in there to use it as a like a frying pan which I do many times see the oval shape you can cook plenty for one in there and you've got this little loop through in there that clips on there it's a bit of a fiddle but basically you can hold it up and whatnot. pretty light because it's aluminium if you're boiling up water you just pop that on 
holds the heat in. Yeah, good little bit kit. And it comes with this. This is aluminium as well. It's the pot stand. Lift these up. Put your meth burner in there. And then that just sits on top. Pretty simple. And it's the whole lot in one system. Now you've got your windshield, your pot stand, your pot, frying pan. And this one's the same really, it's a Swedish Army mess kit, but stainless steel, quite hard to find these days. It's not an original Bayer arm, I don't know what happened to that boy, it's second hand, it came up with this homemade job. Same again, you've got the frying pan cup the loops put a stick through there use as a frying pan it's really nice I really do like this one because it's stainless steel a lot of my stuff I've moved to stainless steel now and got the oval pan pot there plenty of room for cooking anything for one person and also the aluminium windbreak with the pot stand thing that folds out stove as I said on the other one sits on there like so nice and simple the way I like it Push the loops in. It sits together like that. So that's the stainless steel Swedish Army mess kit. Next one is the British Army mess kit. It does originally come with two pieces, same again but smaller and it sits inside, but I've got away with that one. I'm doing away with a lot of my aluminium stuff, so I just kept this bigger part of it. The handle folds out like so, it's pretty deep, so it makes a really good frying pan if you're putting a lot of stuff in it like baked beans, sausages and all that. It's really light and a good thing about it is you can put stuff in it when you're packing it away like um, utensils and sauces or whatever your food it can all fit in there and it's like a little parcel basically I do quite like that one I've used that one quite a bit so the handle folds back job done so that's the British Army mess kit next one's the German army mess kit this is aluminium it's a little bit like the Swedish army mess kit but it's a slightly different shape and it has different signs on it first of all the lid frying pan or cup aluminium and as you see with the whole set it's like a kidney shape because it's a slight curve near and the handle is different again you've got this fixed attachment you can put a stick put a stick through there to hold it up and the main compartment first of all you have this bowl kidney shape again now I don't know if it came with a little barrel arm I'm not sure but this is how I got it and you can use the top bit of the frying pan whatever the handle and clip it on like that so the idea of that is like if you're lining up to get your food you put your dinner on one side and you put it in the other side and you carry it back to your table or wherever you're sitting like that and it's really light it's sturdy 
again another nice bit of kit and the main cooking pot oval shape again and you've got measurements down the side now you see here yeah? and it's got like a little latch thing there basically what that is is when you flip the arm over it holds it up so it don't get too hot you have fire underneath and this does fit in the Swedish Army stove so that's the Swedish Army stove windbreak, whatever you like to call it it's not made for it but it does fit in there if you really wanted to do that so that's the German Army musket fits together quite nicely and nice tight clip on there German Army musket now this is the stainless steel USA mess kit on clips like that now this bit which is a bit I don't use is a plate and like the others you could have your meat on one side and peas on the other side or you could have your dinner in there it'd be a small dinner ration and put in there a bit of chocolate or something and this is the frying pan well used I used it quite a lot I do have an aluminium one but I left it at home because it's exactly the same just aluminium it's a really nice pan you can fit a lot in there sausages um, whatever you like to fry up bacon whatever and yeah the handles stainless steel as well but it doesn't get hot unless you've got a roaring fire obviously over it but on a little stove it doesn't really get hot and another reason that handles so long is because of this put this plate on there and bend that round and basically you've got yourself a little serving tray again you can put your meat in there your peas in there whatever and then your pudding or whatever and you carry that back to your table wherever you're sitting and it all folds back together clips down and you've got all your kit together like that so that's the USA Army mess kit here's a homemade job it's just a, a grill that um, where did I get this uh, out of a, a grill pot in the oven I think it was and these side bits are from an old dog crate and I just cut bits off squash it on there you see it's been bashed about and squashed and it sits out like that basically nothing fancy and just put your steak pots or whatever on there and you have your fire underneath so that's the DIY grill thing, pot stand, whatever you like to call it. Another grill, I did buy a big section, it was like for a barbecue and I cut it down. Very small, very light, I've used this over a fire, over a stove and um, cooked steak and then boiled up water for coffee. Not a problem. So just a little grill. Here's my BCB cup. Stainless steel. Got the markings there. And you've got this sort of almost kidney type 
shape. And you've got the handles that fold out, clip together like that. You might have seen these, a lot of people use them. Holds uh, a lot of water in there, I've cooked in it. If I fancy a big coffee, I'll bring this out and have a big coffee. And I had to buy this separate BCB uh, lid. One thing you don't want to do is boil up the water with the flames coming out because it can melt this. But if the flames are small, then it shouldn't be a problem. Just put that on there. Hold it like that and you can tip your water out. You're cooking noodles or whatever. Got a little hole in there to let steam out when if you really wanted to but a bit cooled around I don't know and the little finger things there it's quite a nice little feature and it also came with this plastic BCB mug the idea was just to boil up water on this and pull it in there for your coffee but normally when I have a coffee in here, I put it down for a few minutes and it's cool enough just to drink straight out of this. And it comes with this stove, this is the little BCB stove it sits in, opens up like so. That clips on like that. And then you put a fuel block or whatever you like in there, and that's the same shape as the bottom here. And that's all just sits in there quite nicely. So that's the BCB cup. Pretty simple. A egg holder. Now I've taken eggs out before and me personally it's nothing better than actually putting an egg in one of these things. A couple of eggs is fine for a day out or a night out. And that goes in my bag, holds the eggs nice and secure, no big box, no loads of packaging trying to not break it. That's fine. And this was only a couple of quid off eBay. I don't know what they're really called, an egg pot, egg holder. I'm not sure you can find one. So that's the egg holder. Another cup, the Swedish Army rubber cup. And as you can see, it folds down really small. Doesn't weigh much at all. You could really give this a beat in. But the only thing around the edges here, they do wear out over time. I've had this for a good few years now and it's been fine. <laughs> See, the edges can deteriorate and break, so that's something to look out for. But yeah, I quite like that. The Swedish Army rubber cup. Pot grips. Now whenever I'm using a frying pan without a handle or a pot without any sort of handle, yeah, you could use a stick maybe, but I just want things to be quick and easy. Simple pot grips. These are titanium ones, I think. Put your pot up, nice and simple, don't weigh much at all. Just the pot grips. Tom Shoe set cups these are titanium also it said on the description anyway there is some dispute about Tom shoe sets some people say they're not titanium they're just titanium plated or whatever I'm not too honest to be honest they're really light and easy to use and I'll probably use these way too much I should <laughs> use some of my other kits but these get maxed out basically so we'll start off with a bigger one it's 
put the measurements inside. 500 mils. Obviously, could have it a little bit more. Got this nice little pot hanger here. Measurements in the back, but it's printed backwards, so you can see it on the inside. Obviously, see, I don't know if you can see that. It's quite worn. Tom shoe titanium 750 mils so that'd be like right to the brim which I never do really light really light this and you can boil up water in this one and me personally I could drink out of it almost straight away just put it down on the side for a minute it's cool enough well I've cut hot dogs in here I've cut noodles pasta soups We'll just boiled water and poured it into the little one and the lid you've got these on the bigger one you've got these two three little holes obviously your main cooking or whatever to let the steam out and what i like about this little triangle loop is it is a bit fiddly but you've got a little sort of like cut out bit in there you if you remember to push that back like that, it stays up. So when you're boiling water or whatever, you can just get a stick, lift it up, have a look, whatever. Not so. And this one fits inside that one. It does come with these little pouches. So the bigger one for the bigger cup, and the little one for the little cup. This little one, the lid don't have the hole, don't have any holes, but it has the little latch in there for the little triangle loop. Titanium Tom shoe, 450 mils. This is perfect size for me for coffees. Handles there, you've got this like little indent thing there, which I like because I always put my little finger on there to help just more comfortable lift it. You know, it's just a little bit more comfortable. It's a little thing, but you know, it goes a long way. Inside, just a cloth. And in there, I've got some matches and coffee and a little fold up spork no measurements inside because I think the idea is to do your main cooking on there and pour it into here or whatever nice little bags I do like these so take that one off that goes in there lid on pick a little bag this one cost me about 20 pounds boy of um, a company in Ireland I think but yeah so that's the Tom shoe cups or mess kit whatever you like to call it and all of that just about fits in my 30 litre patrol pack had to jam it in there a bit but I got it in there. Right, I hope that helped some people out. Might have given you ideas on pots or cups to get in the future, maybe. So that's my little collection. Thank you, Mr. Bird. And uh, I'll see you next time. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.